Okay, let's try out an example with pressure here. Not too difficult, we're gonna start easy, we will work our way up. So, what do we have? Well, we have a vacuum gauge. It's connected to a chamber that reads, and it reads 42 kilopascals. That's from the vacuum gauge. The atmospheric pressure around that chamber is 92 kilopascals, and wants us to find the absolute pressure. Do you need to underline and circle everything when you're making problems? Nah, does it help me? Sure it does. Okay. Now, if I have a vacuum gauge, what do you think it's measuring? It's measuring vacuum pressure. So this is telling me how far below atmospheric I am. And it wants us to find absolute pressure. But we have an equation for that. Our absolute pressure is equal to our atmospheric minus the vacuum pressure. That's just rearranging an equation we had earlier. So if I do that, what do I see? I see that, okay, my absolute pressure is going to be 50 kilopascals because my vacuum gauge reading 42 kilopascals below atmosphere. This is what's inside of the chamber. So I have my pressure tank right here. I have been pumping air out, and this is now at 50 kilopascals, while atmospheric is 92 kilopascals. Okay? And there's a difference there of 42. So that was it for this problem. It's not super terribly hard. And this is probably the last time you'll see vacuum pressure, unless you get, yeah, not even in thermotube, we'll use it. So say goodbye to vacuum pressure, buddy. We'll never need you again. <laughs> okay, we'll end it here. I know this is short. Um, next video will be longer. Have a good one. Bye-bye.